If you're doing a trailer build, stop everything you're doing and watch this. In today's episode, we are doing a complete walkthrough of our trailer setup. So let's get this thing turned around and get started. Okay, so um, right off the bat, um, our trucks, uh, all of our vehicles are, are wrapped like that, our marketing vehicles and also all of our trucks. Um, you know, we use Fords for all of our vehicles. Now, trust me guys, I've heard it all. You know, Ford, fix or repair daily, right? But you know we've had really good luck with these Fords um, but the, the reason really we went with Fords is because our mechanic um, the mechanic uh, that works for the company he is a Ford guy he used to be a, a Ford technician so um, he worked I think 20 years at the at the dealership so you know anyway so it uh, it just makes it easier for us all around for us to do it this way I am doing a separate video on the inside of the truck uh, the top 10 things that you should have in the inside of the truck but this is a sneak peek guys this is definitely going to be on there this is your um, uh you know your six by nine postcards so that's going to be on that list so but that's just a sneak peek um we're doing that video i think it's coming out at the end of the week we actually already made it but it's going through the editing process so we'll start uh here the the ladder ladder rack um we get these on amazon as a matter of fact guys we put the link for you guys um in the description uh, all of our trucks are equipped with this. I want to say it's, uh, man, it's like right around three or four hundred bucks. I want to say it's below four hundred dollars for that that uh, that rack. It's super easy to install uh, these bolts right here. They're 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 J. They're called J bolts because they look like the letter J, and you know you just put the four bolts there. Super easy to install. I think it took me less than an hour to install it, and the. The ladder, of course, that's a 24-foot ladder. You know, when you're starting out in this business, especially as a beginner, you don't need anything bigger than, than, than that. That's fine. Uh, I, I do want to show you guys this. This stabilizer, um, ladder stabilizer, we also ordered on Amazon. Uh, the link is also down below, you know, make it super easy for you guys. But if you guys see that, that red uh, little foamy thing at the end, it's called the uh, no bullhorn and uh, we really really love those things man those things they they grip real good to the to the to the to the roof so it helps uh, stabilize the ladder and again that's on the description down below as well make sure you guys pick those up i want to say they were like man i want to say 15 bucks around there but you know i mean worth their weight in gold guys so we'll start with the truck um we got back here a honda 690 this is the original machine that was uh, that was here. Now th this this setup that we have here is a two man system. So um, you know, um, hopefully you guys can you know take away at least a couple of things you know in your own build. But this tank right here we picked up a Tractor Supply. That's a 125 gallon tank. Again, this is a Honda 690 with a five and a half GPMs or gallon per minute machine this is um actually in our episode 10 uh this little crate here is all of our degreasers and rust and uh um graffiti removal and so you know if you want to know more about chemicals i suggest you watch episode 10 where we discuss that of course the filter um, this filter here you can pick up a tractor supply it's their one inch and a quarter filter so you know basically you know when water goes into the tank it comes out and it runs into our filter right before it goes into our machine now if you guys notice here there's something missing in the back of this tank right uh, the back of this truck and what it is is a chem tank this is not a chemical setup this is just for pressure washing this is for the third guy to do a driveway or a walkway or just jump in and help with the rinsing and uh, for that we have dead reels these are actually 
some of the first reels that I've ever had with my company and I, again they're dead reels if you notice here this swivel I mean this swivel is so old it won't even come off anymore and it's not hooked to anything they're dead reels meaning they're not hooked up to the tanks and so um, they work super great for that I mean these reels the, the manifold inside of them is already all busted up and stuff so they don't even work anymore but we can just use them to reel up the hose so again i mean super easy setup here this uh this setup here you know for the two-man three-man system you know it's only getting used maybe four or five times a week where the the guy will jump in and help another cool little thing i want to show you guys that i think you should do so these traps right here i actually order them on um these traps i i get them at uh, at the home depot and you know you just you just put them around you see that and i use a 18 inch you can see on here look i put an 18 inch uh zip tie on there super easy to get your ladder with that guys and this this by the way has been on here man i want to say three or four years now look at that nothing the guys won't lose it you know um it's super easy if you're still using those little straps you know the orange black straps uh, ratchet straps or whatever they're called yeah I suggest you upgrade to this huge 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 difference I think I paid like 15 bucks for this and you can see over here there's another another one right there so that's how we we tie our ladder so that's it for the back of the truck guys again all of this equipment the the flexilla hose we order on Amazon link is down below you got your ladder rack right there um, super professional to have it this way to give you guys an example uh this ladder this ladder this whole setup is 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 going into its fifth season i mean and you see the condition of it i mean it almost looks new so that's it for the back of the truck now our trailer setup guys of course we have a little a little uh, toolbox there we just keep backup wands and stuff of uh, uh, stuff like that this right here is our new all of our new builds have this uh steel eagle it is by far the best reel that we have ever used and we have used them all i mean summit general pump um we've used all the reels titan um and we like this one best of course it's got a super swivel on it this is again it's hooked up to and we're gonna go uh, do a complete walkthrough so you can see but that is a comet pump guys now we do have and you can see here let's back up here a second you see the trailer it's a 15 foot trailer right tandem axle to be able to support the weight that's an ibc tote we have the same exact build with small differences like the the the, the roof pump on that one's an ar-45 the machine that machine is the original machine to this trailer but we just bought a um eight gallon a minute that uh just came in on wednesday and it's actually getting um upgraded this week to the eight gallon minute this right here is actually a five and a half gpm honda 630 so anyway my point is so the other trailer is exactly like this except it has a 10 gallon a minute machine an ar-45 and then the the buffer tank is bigger bigger this is 275 and the other one's 425 so anyway so so moving right along we got 200 foot of uh soft wash hose again this is hooked up to a 10 gallon a minute roof pump a comet pump we've had this for two years can't say enough good things about it i mean this system right here guys you're getting about four houses four to six big jobs a day well big jobs like two three big jobs and uh, we'll talk about a little bit about the finances of the job of the jobs that this type of rig can handle uh towards the end but anyway so highly recommend that of course this is just you know uh, commercial grade um it's a great machine i think we got it originally for like right around 4500 bucks and and this is the original machine that was on this trailer this one is two years old and of course you got the the, the gas for the machine now uh this is also linked down below we really 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 like these uh because they're easy to use they're lightweight 
Um, we have about six of them at the shop that are you know, old and no longer work, but we constantly switch parts out. Uh, we also have a 36 inch whisper wash and a, what's the other one? We have a 28 inch, but that has the three arms underneath. So we have several. On this truck we have two, and then on the other truck there's three. Okay, so that's the surface cleaner for driveways, walkways, and whatnot. Here, moving right along, this is your proportioner. Now, if you look closely, you know, I just put some, the, the same 18 inch uh, zip ties. I bolted the proportioner to, you know, a whatever that is, 18 inches by 18 inches, I think, piece of plywood, and then I painted it black. And then I zip tied the plywood to the, to the tank and again you guys for you guys that are still out there batch mixing you gotta you gotta you gotta step up your game because i mean it is it guys i can't even begin to tell you how different the business is and will be for you as well when you upgrade to a meeting system so if you've never seen this before this is your water right here so you see it's um, it's open all the way this is your soap which is connected to right here um, of course, these are your chem tanks. And then your last one here, this is your chemical. So it goes all the way up to 6%. Um, you know, we're doing house washes with between 1.2 to 1.5%. So highly recommend. Uh, we've been using a metering system for several years now. And uh, I mean, uh, of course, we're going to go over this, but this truck also has downstreaming capabilities. But if you give me the choice between downstreaming and, 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 and um, soft washing, I'll take soft washing all day. So uh, this is just a, a one inch uh, PVC pipe we put on here. Uh, you can see it's bolted. It's bolted with the little, you can just pick these up. I got these at Ace Hardware and you just cut this. I think I cut it like uh, 30, 30 inches just to put my wand. Uh, of course, like I said, it's got... Now, you might think that this tank here is for downstreaming and it is not. These two are both sauce tanks. They're both SH tanks. So you got your, your big buffer tank and then you got two SH tanks. And then in here, you like I showed you before, that's your surfactant. The surfactant that we use is Snotmanade. Again, I refer you back to episode 10 where we talk about all of our chems that we use at Mr. Bubbles. You see that guys? That's a small surface cleaner. Lowe's, I think it costs 180 bucks. It's 15 inches. It's a great help when you're doing a small patio, small walkway. We like it because you know you just connect to your gun. You don't have to turn the, the system off or anything like that. We got here a dead reel. We just don't have any hose on it. But you know, um, when we do, you can just pull the gate. Um, it, oh, and by the way, guys, the marketing on your back gates, I've seen a lot of trucks don't have them. Step up your marketing game, guys. That you, If you see this, it's just plywood. Pretty easy to make. And then you see it, I got a bolt through the back right there. Four bolts. That thing's been on there for three or four years now. And it's gotten me hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jobs. So there you go. Um, but typically it has a, an extra 100 feet of hose. And the reason why we haven't put a hose there is because you got 200 feet of hose there, pressure wash hose, the, this is the water hose. And then you got 200 feet on the truck and we just haven't had a need to, to put, oh, and by the way, they have an extra 100 coiled up inside the truck, brand new hose that hasn't even been broken in yet. And then we got a, uh, you know, bucket for cleaning out basement stairwells. It's got uh, a, a brush. You order these on Amazon. It's got a little uh, dust pan. Order that on Amazon. I wanted to show you guys this. I actually drilled holes in mine. Uh, I highly suggest you guys do that because sometimes basement stairwells, they fill up with water and it's hard to get the grime out. And this way you can siphon out the water that way you know uh, drain the water again um pressure wash hose we have 200 feet here um 200 feet feet of flexilla now you guys were wondering about downstreaming so this is a 16 gallon tank and you might be thinking to yourself wait 16 gallon tank you can't downstream a lot of houses with 16 gallon we use this thing maybe twice a month maybe maybe 
So we're not really downstreaming with this rig. You got to remember, there's no chemical at all in the back of the truck. And if we want to downstream, we just, we just, you know, from our soft wash gun, we'll put, you know, a f whatever, four or five percent solution in there and connect our injector. The siphon tube we keep inside the toolbox, you just connect your injector and you go. So it's not really complicated. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, these are the, the pump sprayers that we use the description is down below description no um the link for these are um we order these from amazon at the beginning of every season you know we order about like 10 10 to 15 of them for the whole year between all the trucks um the only thing that we use these for is our own company brand our own solution that we make in house called goofy juice and basically essentially it's just a concrete brightener for us that we uh, use to post treat you know concrete and stuff like that so again you got your two sauce tanks 55 gallon when my my rigs uh, leave in the morning they usually leave with about 60 gallons of chemical all right um again this is a tandem axle this is a, again it's a honda you can see it on there, Honda 630, five and a half GPMs. You see this trap right here, guys? This is actually that pipe. Um, I think I've, I've talked about it in other videos, or maybe I haven't, but you see this is the, the, the gutter pipe. So it's just strapped on here. You hook it up to a blower to clean out, you know, flush out a gutter real quick. And again, um, this is the, the Honda machine course you know you you uh, you always want to have you know upgraded superior equipment and this thing here has gotten us uh, this rig is on its sixth season with us six years we've been using this rig and that's the original machine and like I said this roof pump right here guys oh my god wow you guys that are still on your 12 volt system I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know what you're doing out there. I mean, you, you got to step up your soft wash game with this uh, Comet pump. And like I said, the, and I'm doing a, a, a video, like a review video of the difference between that and the AR45. But we like them about the same. But man, this machine here, guys, I mean, you're talking a thousand plus jobs that we've done with this little guy. And we absolutely, I love this machine so much. I have two of them, brand new inside the box in my shop that's how serious i am about that machine and and also guys this is very important when you set up these machines um if you do have a a uh, roof pump you can see this is this line here connects to my water uh to my proportioner over there that i showed you guys earlier and then you see this secondary black hose which goes to the reel you see it right there and then you see you might ask yourself wait what about that third hose that that red hose what is that that is actually my bypass hose so when we're not on the trigger right this is what it, it the water loops around so it doesn't burn up the parts inside my pump now this is very important guys extremely important i would say if you're setting up you know your roof pump you want to put i would say at least 15 feet on your bypass hose now this one right here and you see how it's all coiled up right there this one right here is 18 feet and that's a three quarter inch hose and i'm talking again i'm talking about this red hose that's my bypass hose to my um roof pump okay so so what's essentially for you guys that don't understand what that is essentially think of like a loop when you're off the trigger when you're not using your 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 gun right guys you let go of the gun what happens is the water creates a loop inside your pump like a big loop where water is constantly coming and flowing through it and that's why with the roof pump you want to make sure you make it at least 16 15 16 feet or more and then um, I will I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about this right here um, guys best gun on the market and I've I've had quite a few I'm not gonna say I've had them all but I've had quite a few different ones different guns and um, wow this guy here awesome for rinsing plants rinsing windows I can't say enough good things about this blue gun um, 
I got the link down below. It's called the Soaker Gun. You, again, we get these on Amazon as well, guys. So just hit that link and go ahead and get that. Pick yourself up two, three of those things. I actually have an extra one in here. Uh, actually, the other one is red. You see it down there? It's got a super swivel on it. And I wanted to show you this as well. If you guys want me to do a video on how I made this, um, I actually created this little wand for myself uh for my soft washing this is like if i'm doing a really big house and i need an extra 20 feet i got the assassin tip on there so so that's a fan tip assassin tip and this is just a um you know a pvc pipe i picked up a lowe's with a banjo fitting and then um i mean that's pretty much it but like i said you know i could definitely do a video on how i created that and uh this you're getting about 15 feet eh, like 10 to 15 feet depends on a couple conditions like wind but you'll get a, about 10 feet more than you will with your soaker gun so if you need to reach like an extremely high peak in a house that's the way to do it and uh to wrap up this video guys because i didn't want to make it too long um i wanted to talk a little bit about financially what a rig like this could do for you okay so what's uh today's actually sunday when i'm recording this so friday we don't we're a monday through friday company my guys work uh, their last job at one o'clock so we have a nine o'clock eleven o'clock and a one o'clock and um and then the rigs are usually back at the shop by three o'clock but on friday i'm going to use this as an example so this rig right here that you're seeing on video on friday their first job was a twenty seven hundred dollar job Okay, what were, what were they doing there? Now, th this right here is usually a two-man system, but we got three guys on it now because we're training another technician. So, they, they go out. You have one guy on, the, on the, the soaker gun doing the roof. Okay, this is their first job, 2700 bucks. So, the, the guy's on the roof, and he's also cleaning out the gutter. So, he's doing the gutters and the roof. Then you have his right hand guy the technician is on this machine right here and he was actually downstreaming yep he was downstreaming the house while the lead was doing the roof and then the third man was using the truck rig to surface clean the driveway and then he also had a patio so all three people were working we had uh water going into that tank water going into that tank okay so they got there at nine they left at 11 30 that was a 700 2700 dollar job again three-man team now the next job they only had two jobs to do on friday the next job they went to do was a 1800 dollar job so they had to do the pool patio three different concrete patios two decks and the house same thing you had one guy downstreaming one guy soft washing another guy pressure washing and they were done this the the rig was at the shop like around 245 and do the math 2700 plus 1800 that was a 4500 hundred dollar day again that's not in a week that's not in a month that was in one day that's with a lead that's been with us for four years a technician that's on in his second season and a helper that is in his first season so i'll do a complete uh just a final walkthrough guys do not uh, if i always like to you know with my videos have like some main takeaways i would definitely get those straps that i showed you for the ladder rack it makes my life and my guy's life a lot easier in the field i think it cost me like two three hundred dollars to put a sign in the back of my trailer definitely definitely do that you know whenever you get a chance you know upgrade to a metering system stop batch mixing makes a big difference and obviously you know you need a roof pump for that so you know when you can upgrade to a to a, a soft wash type solution and it's going to uh to change your life in my next video guys um stay tuned i appreciate you uh, for watching this one and uh in my next video i'm actually going to do the trucks I'm going to show you guys two different truck rigs that we have and those are our strictly downstreaming rigs so that's uh go ahead and click on that that's um episode two and uh we'll see you over there
Thanks for watching.